This is so surreal. Look up there. You can still see some blue sky. Everything is really calm and quiet and peaceful here in the parking lot of the Magic Kingdom. But if you look over here, you'll notice that almost all of the parking lot for Magic Kingdom is empty. As a matter of fact, I am parked within walking distance of the TTC. Look at this parking lot tram over here. Nobody is on it. Nobody! And that is because in just a few hours, a category four hurricane, which is pretty bad, I'm told, is going to come perilously close to the east coast of Florida. Devastating winds and storm surges, maybe tornadoes are coming, gonna be pretty crazy. Even Orlando, which isn't even on the coast, is expected to receive 100 mile per hour gusty winds and crazy storm conditions. The hotel I was in yesterday, Fort Wilderness, was actually evacuated last night, right after I was done filming, they told us. It's not safe to be there, too many trees in the crazy winds, and too prone to flooding. So we actually had to go to a whole different hotel. I'll talk about that later. Just a few minutes ago, they announced that all the parks would be closing super early. Which means there's only four hours left until the parks close. Which means we have only the most limited amount of time to go back to the Magic Kingdom. Notice that 45th anniversary banner is down. Pretty much anything that they can uh, remove that might fly around or flap around or get lost in the storm is being taken down and tied up. Wow, look at this. Look at how empty it is is in Magic Kingdom. This is the first major hurricane to hit Central Florida in I think 10 years or so. So people are definitely not taking it lightly. Thousands of people are evacuating. Stores are running out of food and gas. There's long lines to get gasoline. The highways are jammed. Flights are canceled. And so like it or not, I'm stuck here at Walt Disney World. I already grabbed all the water and snacks that I could, so pretty much this is my hurricane preparation. Yay! I have never seen it so empty in the Magic Kingdom in the middle of the day. They just launched off all their fireworks to clear out the mortars. Check that out, that's awesome looking. So as of only about an hour ago, Disney announced that they would be closing all of their parks at 5 p.m. sharp tonight. Which is about the exact same time that the Florida governor says he wants all traffic to clear from the roads. Basically at 5 p.m. tonight, everything in Central Florida will shut down and the storm will roll in. But what's even crazier than all of that is that they're saying that Magic Kingdom and all the other Disney parks at Disney World are going to be closed all day tomorrow. I fly out the next day after that. The storm should be passed, so hopefully my flight won't be delayed or canceled. But basically, this is one of the last chances I have to be in the park. This is totally bizarre and surreal. I mean, look at that sight. You would never know a hurricane is coming. That's crazy. It's not sunny in every direction, though. The wind is starting to pick up in Tomorrowland. A lot more clouds are coming in. This might be my last chance to ride the People Mover. I love the People Mover. Almost everyone I know that lives nearby has already left. Most of them are heading west to be farther away from the storm coming up the east coast of Florida. But I've got nowhere else to go. This is wild. Magic Kingdom has been packed lately and now there's no one. This storm is no joke. It's caused a bunch of damage. The governor's on the radio being like, it's life threatening, it's dangerous, run away. But some of us are just trapped here, so for better or for worse, people mover. Ooh, progress city. I love looking at this thing. Every time I look at my phone, there's a new warning. But I've already done all the preparing I can do, so there's nothing left to do, but enjoy the rest of the day and then ride out the storm at the hotel. Three hours until the parks close. I wonder what else I can do before then. Uh-oh, here comes the rain. Just a little drizzle so far. So bizarre, it's been so crowded. I can't stress this enough. This place is empty. It's funny because you'd think you'd see a lot of storm preparation, but Walt Disney World was built to withstand things like this. So other than some umbrellas being folded up, and I'm sure right after the park closes, these will be stashed somewhere, there's not much outward sign that any trouble's on the horizon. You know, I've never ridden the carousel here at Walt Disney World. So this is what hurricanes are like! Ah! Round and round and round! Look at this, even in Pinocchio's Village House, there's barely anyone. I rarely ever come into this restaurant because it's always freaking packed. Could be my last meal for a while. 
gluten-free chicken tenders. They're already starting to move extra chairs and umbrellas and all that kind of stuff indoors. And announcements are coming in over the loudspeakers. It's just so weird. The storm isn't expected to really impact the area until kind of late at night. But Disney is taking zero chances with people's safety in the parks, which I think is cool. As much as I'd love to be in here tonight with all the crazy winds, watching trash cans blow around. Reporting live from inside the Magic Kingdom. I understand why they won't let me. Just kind of a weird mood out at the Magic Kingdom because there's nothing anyone can do but wait. Short lines, we're all riding rides, but everybody kind of has this weird like mood, a kind of a mutual understanding like, <laughs> We're stuck here. For me though, the parks aren't going to reopen or they're not scheduled to reopen until the day that I leave and fly out, so I'm kind of enjoying my last look around Magic Kingdom for the most part. Crazy. Basically the whole state is about to take a ride on Splash Mountain. Given that the parks are closed tomorrow, it'll be only the fourth time that Disney World has ever had to close in 45 years of being open. Four times only has it ever closed the parks a day in advance, always because of hurricanes. That's an average of only once a decade, so this is uh, history in the making, I guess. Ooh, pre-hurricane parade. So weird. Storm's coming, better celebrate. Ooh, Peter Pan doesn't worry about the storm, but that's because he could fly away to Neverland. Hook though, he'll probably be stuck here. I love Mr. Smee. Oh, heck yes, here comes the dragon. Yes. Yes, fire! Dude, that is awesome. Look at how few people are on the Liberty Bell right now. That is crazy. Up, oh, there's Mickey and Minnie over there. They don't look too worried. Probably one of the last times we'll see Mickey's old look. There they are, Mickey and Minnie, old school. Awesome. Man, this whole thing is crazy. One thing I cannot do once I get back home to Disneyland is ride the Disneyland Railroad because it'll be closed still for quite a while. So I might as well hop a train. Boy, it's hot. In California, when we get any kind of weather like this, it's usually really cold from the Pacific Ocean. Here, there's a major storm coming and I'm sweating bullets. There's Big Thunder having a refurbishment under construction at the moment. I don't see the guy floating in the bathtub. Bummer. Next time, starting to get a little bit of rain out here. Dude, I love the Walt Disney World Railroad. Look at it. So much more elaborate. Those Indians aren't worried about the hurricane. Someone tell them to evacuate. Well, here's Fantasyland. It looks a little rainy. Maybe I'll stay aboard. Here we go towards Tomorrowland. So much space at Disney World. Ooh, there's Space Mountain. Oh, Main Street. Wow. Yeah, the weather's starting to look a little bit worse. Maybe I'll go round trip. I love this place. Dang. I kind of want to stay on this train forever. It'd be pretty cool to see what a hurricane train is like. Huh? Huh? Eh, never mind. Well, I did it. I made the whole round trip. Well, that's pretty much it. In just a few minutes, the park will be closing, but uh, I think I have time for one more ride. Gentlemen, roll inside. Round them, lads. Round them. <laughs> Oh, you can see everything they possibly can is being zip tied down ahead of the storm. And a lot of the tarps they had over stuff that was under construction or getting refurbished are now gone. Holy cow, nobody in line for the jungle cruise. What the heck is even happening today? Oh yeah, there's a hurricane coming. Dude, what a crazy day. Back to my camp and grab some things, but I don't have any things. Yeah, uh, oh, same as our hand salesman here in the jungle. And now, basically, the Magic Kingdom is about to close. These guys don't look too worried. This is about as close as we get to come to seeing Disney in a hurricane. Basically, the official early evacuation of the Magic Kingdom has begun. The Magic Kingdom will be closing at 5 p.m. today and will remain closed tomorrow due to inclement weather. Thank you for your understanding. Crazy. The last time I was in a Disney park this empty, I was at Disneyland Paris in the middle of freaking winter. 
This is weird. Like, look at this. This is pretty wild. Nobody's here. With the way the news is reporting the Disney parks closing, you'd picture that right now there'd be people screaming and the wind would be blowing and raging, trash cans would be rolling across the ground, but nope. This is how Walt Disney World evacs in front of a hurricane. Calmly and safely. I guess this is my bonus for getting trapped here for the hurricane. I got the whole place pretty much to myself. And so begins the wind down. No more rides, no more fun for two days. Well, it is now after five o'clock and the Magic Kingdom is officially closed. The rain is starting to come down steadily. The wind is picking up. Security is now ushering guests out of the park. And that's it. The last look at the Magic Kingdom before the hurricane. Dude, this place and all the cast members here working have done their duty. They can now go home and take care of their families. Board up the windows, hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husbands, cause the storm is coming. Goodbye, Magic Kingdom. Hopefully everything here stays intact and everybody stays safe. You know, when you hear the word evacuation, the movies led me to believe it would look a lot different from this. It's so calm and orderly. All right, goodbye, Magic Kingdom. I hope nothing bad happens to you. The governor wanted everybody off of Florida's roads like 20 minutes ago, so probably time to go and seek shelter. Ooh, there's some wind and rain. Oh yeah, things just picked up. Time to get out of here. Goodbye, Magic Kingdom. Goodbye. I don't want to leave. I want to stay. You know, if we had the option to stay inside of Magic Kingdom during the hurricane, I totally would. But since that's not an option, I guess I'll go to my warm, cozy hotel room. Wow. This is the beginning of the uh, storms connected to the hurricane. So technically, officially, here it is. Walt Disney World in a hurricane. Much more wet than I expected it to be. What a fun one. Ugh. All right. Time to head back to the car. Holy moly, it is already really coming down. If you don't like the weather in Florida, just wait five minutes and you'll like it even less. Oh, it is actually pouring rain really bad now. Fun times. And there we go. Leaving the Magic Kingdom to its fate. Okay. Nothing to do now but go back to the hotel and wait for the big part of the storm to hit. Look at that. Empty parking lot. The Magic Kingdom has been evacuated. The Magic Kingdom is officially evacuated. Here's some of the RVs from yesterday. We were evacuated from Fort Wilderness, which is mostly a campground. Disney moved all those people to different hotels on property. Well, they're now saying on the radio that this hurricane is going to make landfall in Central Florida, which will make it the biggest, most powerful, most deadly, most dangerous hurricane to ever hit Central Florida since they started keeping records. I've never been in a hurricane before, but I guess there's a first time for everything. All I have to say is, what a fun one. Yesterday, when they evacuated us from Fort Wilderness, this is where they sent me. Disney's Pop Century Resort. It's a little bit different than having your own private cabin in the woods, so I guess it feels a little bit like an exile. But on the plus side, I'm not in a swamp surrounded by trees. Now, it's just a matter of waiting for the big part of Hurricane Matthew to show up, which we're told that we're going to start getting some crazy winds within an hour or two, so it's not that far away. Had to change my clothes because they were soaking wet. Pretty wild, just been watching the Weather Channel this whole time. And speaking of the Weather Channel, they actually used my Instagram video in one of their online stories about Disney World closing. That default picture is from my Instagram. I'm Famous. But watching this hurricane come up to Florida, you can see this is the stuff that we were in today. These crazy like outer rain bands or whatever they call them. But Hurricane Matthew proper doesn't even come close next to Orlando till 2 in the morning. Now I've been stuck here this whole time because my flight wasn't even supposed to leave for another two days. So if I'm being lighthearted about it, I was only being lighthearted today just because, you know, I'm trying to make the best of a bad situation being stuck here during the weather and all that kind of stuff. But it is definitely no laughing matter, man. It's a crazy storm and I really hope people are listening to those evacuation warnings and getting inside. It is very likely that Florida and Georgia and the Carolinas are going to need a lot of help in terms of like relief stuff and everything. So if you can, I would probably donate to Red Cross or one of those charities that's going to help out because they're probably going to need some help. Look at that right there. That's a four-story eight-track. And this is a huge 
Rubik's Cube. This hotel is very weird. But what's even weirder is the weather. But what's really bizarre is the weather, man. It keeps coming and going, coming and going. We'll get crazy, crazy rain. I mean, literally 30 minutes ago, it was so rainy and so windy out here, you couldn't see anything. And then all of a sudden, it calms down and pretty much nothing is happening. Most of the people walking around at this resort seem like they're in a pretty good mood. People are getting pizzas and getting food before all the stores close and stuff like that. There's still about four or five hours till the main part of the storm hits. So at the moment, there's just this bizarre kind of quiet. It gets all crazy, the wind gets all wild. The rain keeps kicking up to where you can't see anything and then all of a sudden, eerily quiet and calm. Also, I am inside of a giant two, three-story Rubik's Cube right now, which is really weird. Not something I planned on being inside today, or ever. It's making dark as again, but no way to tell whether it's just a gust, or if it's gonna be 40 mile an hour winds, or what's going on. Kinda makes you feel weird that you can't do anything but sit around and wait. They're definitely expecting power interruptions and problems with cell phones later. It's kind of an extra weird situation for me because I'm all alone in here. Normally when something crazy is going on, you got someone to turn to and you're like, hey, something crazy is going on. Isn't that crazy? And the other person's like, yeah, wild. And right now it's just me and Mickey Mouse in here, so it's kind of quiet and creepy and dead silent in here. I got a bunch of snacks earlier, so there's some gluten-free chips and a weird meat stick. This morning, the gas station I went to was sold out of Mountain Dew, but I got some Dr. Pepper and some Mr. Pibb in there, some orange juice, some bananas, some water. And I have a bunch more water outside in the car, so I'm pretty well stocked up. Luckily, Walt Disney World doesn't seem to be in the path of the dangerous part of the storm. So other than probably losing power and being stuck in the dark and being really bored, being at Disney World seems like one of the best, safest places you could be if you're in the area anyways, you know? There's the path of the hurricane there, the cone of uncertainty that was gonna come pretty close later. Well, I guess all I can do for the moment is take a nap. I mean, the peak of the storm's not gonna be here for a little while. So there's nothing to do but sit here and wait and get more and more nervous. So for now, set an alarm and sleep well. <sighs> okay. Okay. Wow, this looks worse. All during that little time of sleep, the storm was actually nowhere near. Yeah, there was this big gap of just nothing happening. Dead silence, apparently. Yep, this is pretty weird. As far as temperatures go, it's kind of nice outside. If you look here at this little black line, that's what we're in. The hurricane is sort of surrounding us, but none of the crazy weather is really coming to where I am. Apparently the storm has been downgraded to a category three hurricane. While I was taking a nap, winds pushed the eye of the storm farther away from the coast, which means there's still some pretty serious, pretty crazy conditions out towards the coast, out by the ocean, Cape Canaveral and all that. It's still under some pretty serious threat. But for the most part, the whole area around Disney World is being spared the worst of the storm, at least so far. The winds keep gusting a little bit. They'll get to like 20, maybe 30 miles per hour. So a little sketchy but it's just little gusts and then it goes away. This hurricane is much less hurricane-y than I thought it was gonna be so far. I still definitely don't want any pine cones or branches falling down on my head though. <laughs> so the good news is, as the eye passes by, we're being spared the worst of it here in this little black area of no hurricaniness. But the bad news is, no money shot for me. No crazy hurricane footage for this video, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is this? Look at the shite of this big wheel. Oh my gosh, I want to exclaim so loudly, but there's too many people sleeping right now. That's a four-story big wheel right there. Holy cow, and look at this. Look at the size of this foosball court. Man, I don't really know much about this resort, so I had no idea any of this was here. This is quite a surprise. And holy hurricane, Batman. Look at this. Look at this. It's a four-story Mickey Mouse telephone. Dude, look at the size of that Mickey Mouse phone. That is crazy. I can't quite seem to reach to dial the number. Holy cow.
Wow, that is wild. Someday, archaeologists will study this place the way they studied ancient Egypt, and they're going to think that that was one of our gods. That is so crazy, and they're probably going to think that we all loved Fuj, Bosch. Oh, much. Look at the size of the foos. It's the biggest foos I've ever seen. Well, the wind is picking up somewhat out here. The creepy part is, at the moment, not a drop of rain. You know, I never thought that I would be in a hurricane. And I really never thought that I'd be in a hurricane with a giant big wheel and a huge statue of Mickey. Okay, maybe the huge statue of Mickey, but not a huge statue of a Mickey Mouse telephone. Well, at least if the storm gets worse, we'll be able to call 911. Holy cow, or should I say holy mouse? I'm just not expecting this. 5.30 in the morning and nobody's around but me. I'm the only one weird enough to be awake waiting for the storm, but so far it's still going around us. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's still a big storm and no laughing matter, but we're weirdly being hugged by this little strip of nothingness. Yeah, what's going on here? Okay, at the moment, the hurricane is pretty close to us. There's the eye, there's Orlando, here's Disney World right over here. So Disney World is missing out on the big crazy parts of the storm. You can see Disney World right there and the hurricane gets kind of close, but then it dissipates, close, dissipates. God must be a Disney World fan. That or Hurricane Matthew is more of a Six Flags guy. A little bit of rain is finally starting to hit outside. Yeah, definitely a little stormier now than it was a while ago. But honestly, for the most part, so far it's been typical Orlando weather. It's crazy to think at Cape Canaveral, which is a pretty easy drive from here, they're having a hundred mile per hour wind gusts. But here at Disney World, so far so good. Thank you to everyone who expressed concern and told me on Instagram and Twitter that you guys are praying for me and sending good vibes this way. Seems like things are gonna be okay out here. Never thought I'd ride out a hurricane inside of a giant four-story Rubik's Cube, that's for sure. I think Disney made the right decision closing the parks and trying to evacuate people just in case because let's not forget that this storm has killed hundreds of people in the Caribbean. A lot of rescue organizations are going to need help, they're going to need funds, they're going to need money. I'm thankful that so far we seem to be being spared from the worst of the storm but my thoughts are definitely with all those poor people out on the coasts, all those people that are experiencing the severe storm conditions. Pretty wild out there, closer to the ocean. Well, it's about 6.30 in the morning now. Not sure what else to do. I think I'm gonna leave giant Mickey here to ride out the storm until morning and maybe try to get a little bit of sleep. Thank you all for watching. Sorry if it's a bit anticlimactic out here. Walt Disney World in a hurricane. Hope you all stay safe out there. Remember, live fast, die for at spreadshirt.com for hats and shirts. Patreon.com slash Justin Scar helps keep the show on the road. Looks like for now, things are gonna be okay. Guess you could say we've done our duty. We can go home and sleep well.